Hey guys, good morning. Today we're going to hit a uh, Merle Haggard tune. Um, uh, the tune's pretty simple outside of the guitar solo, so I think we can get the whole thing in. We're going to do the uh, the whole song in one video here. Uh, the solo's um, worth working on. It's a it's a great country solo that employs a lot of like chromatic approach. So there's some really really cool ideas. You can learn a lot from it. But um, the tune itself, uh, just stay here and drink Merle Haggard. So uh, it's pretty straight ahead. It's following the same formula that we've been using on these Hank Williams and, and some of the traditional country we've, we've been using. Helps employ, you know, employ that uh, alternate bass. Which is harder than you think because you have to keep it up the whole song. You know, you can't miss. You know, so that's that's real important. So we've talked about that in other videos. So could be holding you tonight. Stop doing wrong, start doing right. Hey, you don't care about what I eat. Think I'll just stay here and a hey. Putting you down, don't, and then we're off to, you know, the second time around. So uh, there's three chords there, as you can see. We got D. We got A. And we got E. So what we're doing on the D chord is, I'm going to call out the strings. It's four strum, five strum. And you're just keeping that pattern up. Go to A, five, six. E is six, five. And back to A. You know, the good news, that's it. And that's the whole song. So everyone, no one really has an issue with that. And then that, that really uh, countrified solo comes up. I don't know who's playing that. I looked it up on Wikipedia and uh, on that particular album, um, there's, of course, Merle Haggard's listed in the personnel. There's a pedal steel guy that plays guitar. There's another guy that plays guitar. So I'm not really sure who's playing this, but whoever he is, is a ripping country player. And those guys employ a lot of like that chromatic approach, which is really, really cool. Um, and uh, what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna play, I'm gonna break it down, um, play it first. <laughs> That's the first lick, which is, you know, awesome. Second lick, then he goes. And then we got this one, which is my favorite. That's such a badass lick, you know. Check that out, man. This guy was such a picker. You know, if he, people always ask me over the years, you know, when, when I've been teaching, they're like, you know, how do, how do I make the pentatonics sound cool? Or, you know, they get into this rut with them and they're like, is there some other really cool scale? I mean, I got the pentatonic thing down and I'm like, no, there isn't a cool scale. It's pentatonics, man. These guys are just moving in every direction. They're not just going forward and backward. It's not yo-yo playing. Like you see a lot of guys do when they're soloing. Just back and forth, like a yo-yo, down and back, down and back. Down and, and I mean, I, I catch myself doing it. You know, it's that motion of forward and backward, forward and backward. That's what gets monotonish. It's not really, the scale is there to be played in a creative way. You just have to do it. And uh, this is, this guy's playing is a, just a great example. Here's position two. We've, you know, talked about, and you could, if you don't know the pentatonics, you know, I have videos for the, you know, pentatonic scales too, uh, they're on the channel. But, um, you know, if you're familiar with the scale, you know, what we do is we play through this and go, okay, great, now what do I do with it? You know what I mean? And this guy's showing you what you do with it. Because uh, that lick is probably the coolest country lick I've ever heard. Hang on a second, I got to get my bearings. Okay, there we go. Yeah. 
position. It's just a pentatonic second position going to pentatonic first. But here's my lick. You know, that sucked compared to this. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, if you were ripping off licks like that, you know, and this guy had a bunch of those in his pocket. That's such a badass lick. So, I mean, that's worth the video in and of itself. I wish I knew, I wish they'd tell you which guy was playing lead on that because he's a smoking player. But again, then he goes. And then the piano solo comes in. So, uh, enough of my rambling. Let's go through it. So there's the first lick, which is just a run. Think of first position pentatonic, right? Now follow me on this. That's the first run. Watch me play it in real time. Oh, sorry. Ah, shit. So that's the first run. Then he goes, again, side by side playing. Look at that. Instead of going forward and backwards, he's playing on adjacent strings. So then that, that lick comes in after this. And then he goes, a little pull off. So that's. There's the cadence. So it's pull off, second string, first string, first string, second string. First string, first string. Now we stay on the first string for the next lick. That's the uh, third lick. Fourth lick is, this is cool. That's nice, isn't it? And then here's the lick I was talking about, I played for you earlier. really cool lick is up here at second position. I'll play it real slow. guys could play so just a good be holding you today. you know and at night so the song itself is d a and e and we covered that in the first part of the video Anyway, there's a tutorial right in and of itself of like a hot Nashville country player back in 1980 uh, and what he was doing with the pentatonics. And um, it's brilliant, man. There's a lesson in every single one of those solos, guys. Um, and there's some great licks in there. Uh, you can put that in your pocket and use in blues down the road and everything like that. So just stay here and drink. As you can see, the song itself isn't super hard. Um, so, you know, you can add that to your repertoire and then you can work on, you know, getting this solo up to speed. Thanks for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to hang out with you. 
www.theguitar-shop.com. Email theguitarshopstudios at gmail.com. We'll see you in the next video, guys.